What is going on, Tender Crew? My name is Billy the Squid, and today I want to talk about the Convergence mod, one of the premier Dark Souls 3 mods out right now, and probably one of the best Dark Souls 3 overhaul mods that are out on the market. And I'm going to explain exactly why and why I think this mod is just a hair, just a slight little snippet away from being the perfect Dark Souls 3 mod. So let's get into all the pros first and foremost. And as you can see, we are in the Smoldering Lake, but it doesn't look quite like the Smoldering Lake you might be familiar with. There are Gru fighting Black Knights. There's this giant Eye of Sauron off in the distance. What is going on here? Well, what it does is the Convergence mod completely overhauls the areas of the game. A lot of the areas in the game honestly, and they are still working on overhauling some future areas of the game, such as the DLCs, but a good chunk of the game's areas have been altered in one way or the other, whether it be different pathways, different mechanics, or whatnot. There are plenty of options available to make the experience feel extremely fresh from the base Dark Souls 3 experience. As an example, we're at the Smoldering Lake. There's Eyes of Sauron. There are three of them, and to be able to get the boss door open for the boss of this area, you need to go and snuff out all three of those eyes. <laughs> this is a great mechanic. This actively incentivizes you and forces you, if you want this optional area to be completed, to go and go through every bit of the area. In base Dark Souls 3, you could just run over to the bonfire over here and then run straight into the boss door. There's nothing preventing you from doing that and avoiding the rest of the area in general, because let's be real, Smoldering Lake, the underneath, it's a big fucking maze down there. It can be frustrating, but if you are incentivized to go in there and look for these items, then it makes that frustration a little bit more worth it just because there is a good payoff at the end. The Convergence mod not only changes areas, but it also changes bosses potentially changing bosses completely or removing them from their areas and replacing them with something else, as you are seeing here now. Wait a minute! Who are you? This is great. This is really, really well done, and I don't think there's a mod that does boss redesign better than what this mod does at this point. They have brought in some of the boss movesets from Sekiro. They've brought in some of the weapon movesets from Sekiro for your weapons and boss weapons and animations. It is all very, very well done, and it's honestly better implemented in this game than some of the rehashed Dark Souls 3 boss movesets being moved to different character models. I feel like they did a very good job, and the Sekiro movesets were definitely what they were most proud of, and it shows. Not only this, but they have also reworked the magic systems so that there are 12 sects of magic. This is the big selling point. Their logo has all of these sects of magic in it, and it just goes to show how much work they actually put into wanting to make this experience unique. Yes, there is air magic. There is geo magic. I am playing as a necromancer. Good day. I'm Bob the Necromancer, and today we're doing an unboxing. It is all a very, very good time. There's druids, and it gives plenty of different play styles for you to want to go back and try if you so see fit. If you enjoy the mod enough, you can do so. Like I said, I'm playing as the necromancer. You're able to summon in undead enemies to help you. The druid also has summoning abilities. And then there are 10 other forms of magic that are supplemental to doing damage, supporting yourself, buffing yourself, all of that. It is very well done, and this all feeds directly into the Covenant system, which I think they also did a very good job with. When you take the PvP systems out of a game where the Covenants are mainly focused on co-op or PvP, how do you make them work? Well, you make it so that they influence the PvE experience in an impactful way. What the Convergence mod does with its Covenants is it makes it so that each Covenant item that you equip gives you a set bonus. And then, while you have that item equipped, you passively, by killing enemies, may randomly collect certain talismans or tokens for that covenant, which can then be spent at different vendors that accept both these tokens or relics or whatever they are, along with your souls, 
to unlock new spells, new armor sets, new items, or potentially just upgrade your weapons and catalysts in general. That's right. Some of these vendors will sell unique Titanite shards that you will need to upgrade weapons of a certain uh, affinity. And I think this is all very good. This is a very good way of organically implementing the Covenant system into a PvE-centered mod. And I think they did a very good job of it. Yes, there are some exploitable areas where you can infinitely farm items AFK. But for the most part, they did a very good job with this. So Billy, if you're singing such high praises, why don't you think this is the perfect Dark Souls 3 overhaul mod? And that comes in the balancing. I don't know if it was just the Necromancer class that I chose. I don't know if it's how I built out my character, but the fact that I was able to achieve the build that I did made the end game very frustrating. On top of this, the beginning of the game to the opposite end of the spectrum was extremely frustrating into the point that it was difficult. Just get good. Oh, come on. It was more difficult than I was intending it to be. And I'm more able to deal with high difficulty than I am a build or mod getting me to the point where the game no longer becomes a challenge. I don't know if it was the Necromancer class. I don't know if it was having pets available to me. I don't know if it was the Lich form, which I am attributing it to the most. If you don't know what this is, Necromancy has a spell called Lich form, which doubles your HP removes your blue bar and then makes all of your spells cost health instead of blue bar. This on paper sounds great, but the build and kind of the build that the Necromancer line pushes you towards is a very heavy health regen centered build. On top of this, I had the blood spell vampirism, which increases the amount of regen that I'm actually able to get. And at the end of the day, unless something was one shotting me, I didn't die very often from the midpoint for in this game. And that is frustrating because I come into these games wanting there to be a challenge. And if the PvP is the only challenging point of this game and i come up with a build that makes it redundant that ruins my experience a little bit again this could just simply be the necromancer build the life regen systems or having pets fighting alongside me in general but i just wanted to point that out because it is the biggest flaw that i saw with this game and might be the biggest detractor from people enjoying the mod that being said i did not not enjoy this mod Yes, the end of the game got particularly easy, and there were several instances where I had to go back and refight bosses because I beat them so efficiently that I didn't get to see any of their unique moveset. I didn't get to get the full boss experience just because they kind of fell over as soon as I did my spell rotation and had a summon out on the field. It was disappointing, but I'm willing to chalk that up to my build. So, do I recommend the conversion spot? Hell yeah, I do. If you are wanting something that completely changes how you are wanting to play Dark Souls 3 in a meaningful way, this is the mod to go for that. They have altered things in such a way that, yes, there's not as much to go out and look for. There are not as many weapons to find as some other mods. There are not as many armor sets to find that have impactful stat changes as some other mods. That's fine, but the changes to the environments the changes to the bosses and the new bosses themselves, especially the ones that have the Sekiro movesets, are so well done that it felt like a completely new game experience. Hey, that's pretty good. And I want that to be the case for people going forward. I think it is worth going and playing just simply for that unique take on this game. It's really marvelous how these modders are able to take the pieces of a game and make it feel like a completely new experience. So definitely recommend the Convergence mod for anybody that is interested in modding Dark Souls 3. But what do you guys think? Have you played the Convergence mod? What classes did you play as? What spell groups did you play as? 
And did you have a wonderful time with it? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like the video, please like it. If you dislike the video, please dislike it. And if you enjoyed the video or like to hate follow, please subscribe to the channel. We do lots of content like this and Elden Ring content moving forward. I think that you all really, really enjoy. But until then, Tenno Crew, much love. Bye-bye.